Well, for this week's Table for Two, Doug Tratner humored our Mike Polk and visited one of Polk's favorite haunts. The happy dog has been a staple in Cleveland for a while now. While not maybe your first date night idea, it could become a favorite once you go. Oh, man. We are at the Happy Dog right now. This is one of my favorite bars in Cleveland, and it has an amazing hot dog menu that it's known for. Yeah, I mean, this place is beautiful. Just look around. This bar is so impressive. It's like this massive, you know, kind of horseshoe bar. I remember when this place opened, I, it was one of kind of the first old school taverns that was kind of revived. You might call it like a revived dive. The Happy Dog location started out as Mom's Soap Couches, an Eastern European restaurant until 2008. The new owner saved the historic bar and added the title of music venue to the spot. I know the fare that they have here, but what's appealing about this menu? Well, you know, I, I think also this was one of the first places in town, if not the first place in town, to kind of do the, the chit system, right? So you order a hot dog, and then you get to choose any toppings that you want. Uh, here are the options, in case anybody is curious. Bourbon, pork, and beans. Confit pulled pork, am I saying that right? Sure. I'm not, you're gonna, could you just tell me so I don't say it wrong in the future? Confit. Kimchi, shredded lettuce, roasted red pepper hummus, blues cheese coleslaw, homestyle coleslaw, sliced cu cu sliced cucumbers, diced tomatoes, Spanish onions, and then so many sauces, it seems silly to list them all. Happy Dog is now run by Sean Watterson, who sat down with us to have a beer. Let's talk about tater tots. Tater, tater tots are huge here, but like, I feel like everybody now is, is doing tater tots. I tater tots are a go-to, everybody loves it. We, we've added sweet potato fries, which which I love. We have to ask about the people who do order every topping. You've seen it. A couple of times a year. Okay. Somebody will do it kind of on a dare and do the whole thing. And the kitchen knows, yes, put everything on there. Mm -hmm. Just make sure there's a lot of hot sauce. What I would say is, uh, you know, you go to a restaurant, you, you put your hands in, in, you know, you put your, your meal in the hands of the chef. Here, you're, the, you're designing the meal. So if it doesn't taste good, it's your own fault. Exactly. And it's not that expensive, so just get another one. That should be your slogan. If it doesn't taste good, it's your fault, and it's not that expensive, just get another one. At the risk of just getting another one, Mike and I set out to create each other's dream hot dog. Mike went spicy, and I went with a secret ingredient, a vegan dog. I mean, those toppings are good. I can tell, though. How so? I can tell. This is spicy. It's got a nice... It's got a little kick to it. The creeper, right? Would you call that, the fact that yours is spicy, that that being uh, the same thing, me making you as spicy as you giving me a vegan dog. No, because I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Those two are always having fun. <laughs>